it's Labor Day weekend and I am going to do an update of some life events so that um, everyone can understand why I'm going to be posting fewer videos on my channel, probably, or maybe I'll be posting more. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but basically, um, work is going to get a lot busier for me and um, I'm gonna be homeless because despite this whole work from home uh, standard that was set up during COVID, I basically have to go in uh, to really um, get the most out of my workplace. And so when I'm at work, I'm not home with my orchids. And that means it's just less time for me to tape um, and to do things like watering um, because I'm going to be at work more, I'm trying to reduce the size of my collection and uh, I'm going to try to be very diligent about buying fewer orchids. So they're going to be fewer unboxing posts. And um, I also just bought a new car, which I've been looking for three years and it's been very difficult for me to buy a new car because there's been a massive uh, semiconductor shortage if people have uh, noticed that and um, new cars you know um, especially if you want uh, an electric vehicle or a hybrid um, have a lot of electrical components and so uh, it's been hard to get one and it's also been hard for me to get one where uh, the dealers didn't want people to pay 5,000 or 10,000 or 15,000 over a sticker. So I finally got a new car. This is my new car. It is a Prius Prime plug-in hybrid. And I'm gonna tell you that it is like far smarter than I need any car to ever be. But uh, because of that, I just spent a huge amount of money. Um, I also probably shouldn't be buying more orchids as a result. Um, I'm also gonna be selling less orchids through my website because I don't have time to keep that up. But also, you know, I'm gonna be busy at work, which means I can't be running to the post office mailing packages. And um, I really don't sell orchids to make money. Um, I sell them mostly because the collection is too large and I need to get rid of divisions. And so I'll be getting rid of most of my divisions now through the semi-annual sales through my local orchid society. Uh, if you want an orchid, you can write me. Um, I'll probably ask for you to pay shipping or I'll just tell you no, I'm not getting rid of that one. Um, but for the most part, um, I just, I don't really have time to deal with all that. Um, it's, it's just too much. Um, and then finally, uh, my, um, I wanna say judging center, my American Orchid Society Judging Center has elevated me finally to an associate judge and the judging committee, I don't know, uh, because the judging committee of the American Orchid Society has approved it, so I am now officially an associate um, orchid judge. And so this means that uh, hopefully I'll be doing more orchid judging things. Uh, I would love to film um, an orchid judging and share it with everybody. But what I've really found out is that uh, once I start judging, I'm a little bit too busy. So, uh, I'm gonna to try to make a video of orchid judging, but uh, it's gonna be a while in coming because uh, I I just find like I don't have any time uh, to film while I'm judging. I have to think about how to do that. Uh, and then also um, a member of my local judging center uh, is now the new president of the American Orchid Society. Her name is Cheryl Ahrens. Congratulations, Cheryl. Um, she has lots of great ideas for the American Orchid Society and I have volunteered um, to help 
uh, improve the American Orchid Society's presence on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and maybe TikTok if we ever get to it. Uh, but as part of that, uh, I will uh, also maybe possibly be making less content for my channel, but helping make more content for those other platforms. So uh, American Orchid Society has a YouTube right now. It's been idle or dead for like eight years. Um, if you have content suggestions for that, uh, I'd love to hear it. Um, the YouTube is not going to come around for a while, so, you know, open for ideas, but uh, we, uh, we're going to work on the Facebook and the Instagram first. Um, and I know that lots of people are on TikTok, and so we're probably going to go there at some point. But um, I volunteer to help with that. And so that's going to eat into more of my non-available free time, uh, like I said, because I got to do more stuff at work. So uh, that's it for this update. So if you see fewer videos from me, um, sorry. And um, hopefully I'll still be able to produce content for this channel.